guys, it's Peter in our ice cream bar. So I wanted to start this video by saying a really big thank you to everyone who commented on my previous video. Such positive, nice things about um, possibly putting ads on these videos. Obviously I haven't done it yet, unless you're watching this video way in the future, in which case maybe I have done it. I don't know yet, but I just wanted to say thank you and that makes me feel a lot better about doing that. Moving on, I'm sure you guys remember the video that I made a couple videos ago that was called Letting Go of Mary Sue, where I mentioned looking over my old character backstories and kind of revitalizing them, making them less sucky. And I thought after some comments were made that it would be fun to go over those stories with you guys. So that's what this video was supposed to be. Unfortunately, I cannot find my external hard drive where I had stored all of that old stuff and that will just have to wait. I do know two stories by memory, so maybe, maybe we'll get to those. However, I remembered that a lot of these stories for characters, most of them didn't become ball joint dolls, but you know, I used to have notebooks and I had written all kinds of character stuff in there. So I found these beauties under my sister's bed when I was cleaning her room the other day and I was like, here we go. We are going to find something. This one is looking pretty promising. It's purple. It's called nothing. Oh my god! We have a surprise in nothing. You guys remember online doll makers like Preps and Elow and stuff like that? This has to be from early middle school. But this, I'm, I have to show you guys this. This is fantastic. Can you see this? Is this not the most amazing? Okay, wait, uh, this one is me. These were my friends at the time. It's clearly some sort of amazing Christmas scene is going on here. I mean, there's presents and, and dragons and I'm like dual wielding swords like a bam. And we all have flame pants and there's like some unicorns. Mine are the coolest flame pants because they're green and have lightning bolts on them. So, I mean, this is awesome. This is, and I'm not friends with any of these people anymore. They should have stuck with me because we could have been doing this. Yeah, yeah, this is my new advertisement for friendship. This is what all my friendships are going to be like from now on. So if this is what you want, sign up. On to nothing. Oh my gosh, this, this was, um, a beautiful drawing that I did. And this was the character, this was the main character right here, it's a little blurry. And his name was Tal, T-A-L, or maybe it was Tal? I did, ah, I don't know. But basically his story was a story I kind of ripped from a book I saw one day and I liked the synopsis of it, so I went home and I wrote a series of books, but only the synopsis, synopsi? Eh? Uh, the series is called Shadow Lord because I'm filled with creativity. And the first book is called The Last Meadow, spelled wrong. In an untroubled world, when pigs fly at dawn and unicorns grow, an ancient enemy arose. It turned the land into a place where time ceases to exist, and all forces of life are at stake, spelled like the meat. But there is one hope, Star Wars. In the last meadow, there lies a portal, a portal that will let throw only one human. The first one's like, eh. The second one is like, eh. And the third one is my favorite. The second one, the place of sleep. There is a place the Shadow Lord created called the place of eternal sleep. Get ready for it. This is a place where everything is in eternal sleep. Shocking. The air of this place has found its way into the human world, which I guess is bad. The Shadow Lord is gathering power and the one hope, Star Wars, is not yet strong. The battle rages on in the place of eternal sleep. Eternal is actually, the last one is not eternal, it's a turl. And for my favorite, Shadow Lord the Rising Mountain. What has happened? Dragon Mountain is rising! <laughs> what the f But where are all the dragons? And where did they go? Oh my god! And then there's something about like a white gate and Star Wars One Hope and um... It's got a dragon. I don't know. It was pretty awful. I'm really glad that that never... That was actually before I even knew what BJD's were, so thankfully that one was far gone by the time I was, like, spending money to bring these characters home. Oh my gosh, look at this. I've got, like... 
at these pretty colors. A little hamster tail. Did I really write this? I'm making this face because the main character in this story is a 14-year-old widowed hamster. That's the main character. So I'm gonna put that down. A nighttime diary, lights out. And uh, this was from the first time I went to camp. This actually looks pretty empty. I like how my favorite bands were apparently Avenue Q, Wicked, Rent, and Into the Woods. Those aren't bands. Those aren't bands. Yeah. <laughs> What I like least about myself. I am too freaking lazy. Too lazy for words, way too lazy for explanation. Enemies who have become my friends. My answer, my enemies die. Spooky? Can we just, like, all caps here? Well, that was pointless. That was pointless. I'm sorry. Here we go. This one looks pretty good. Notes. By me and only me, the great ruler of the universe, per fur, Pronounced fur, even though it has the dots, and I mean an umlaut. Um, yeah, that's, that's what this says. Oh my gosh, here we go. This was what I was going to write. This was going to be my epic masterpiece. Ultimate fan fiction. It's so ultimate. Here, do you want to know who is going to be in it? These these are all the things that are going to be in it. Inuyasha, Avatar Last Airbender, Sayuki, Fruits Basket, Interview with a Vampire, Harry Potter, Wolf's Reign, Fire Emblem, Legend of Zelda. I didn't get any farther than that. And this isn't even like the plot of ultimate fan fiction. This is just who dies in ultimate fan fiction, who my favorite character is, <laughs> and who gets together. Is that real? That's that's it. That is the only ultimate. That's that's all of ultimate fan fiction. That's it. Why did I write like my favorite character? Was that necessary? Apparently. Ah. Ultimate fan fiction. What's the? Oh, wait a minute. This is upside down, and this is just a regular sketchbook. You could. Do you want to see my old art? That's for another video, probably never. All right, well, that was a bunch of useless crap. I guess we're gonna have to go through the <laughs> by memory. So I don't remember all my stories by memory by any means, but I do remember bits and pieces. But Daichi, when I originally got him, was going to be like a quarter regular elf and one eighth dark elf and like one sixteenth dragon and like all these weird percentages of different fantasy races and it was just very not great and he was like a prince but like a minor prince and the the kingdom didn't like him because he was too special and he ran away to go live with the humans because he was just too special for everyone he was just so special more special than other people and that made him like unpopular because he was so special that plot line quickly didn't go anywhere, shockingly enough, and I decided to go ahead and change it and make it so there was more angst and more romance and more stuff. I don't know what I wanted more of, but it was not the right thing for me. And I changed it to be this completely different story. So there was like this fantasy race that I had for this story where they basically were all born with a disease sort of thing that remained dormant for most of their lives and some people, you know, it became active and they would turn into these like giant rampaging Godzilla monsters and be like but also somehow they were like the most prestigious, so I don't know how that worked. But the point was, that was, um, I had a character, October. October was a character who had this dormant disease, and because, why not, this disease could be spread like an STD. So he sleeps with Daichi because they are like, so in love, and Daichi gets this disease and is like, oh god, I need a little monster, help me. And Eri, who is October's older brother, who, fun fact, used to be my L and is not anymore, he took Daichi to the human world because apparently if you're in the human world, your disease will be dormant forever and you'll never turn into a horrible rampaging sex beast. Because who would ever want to be that? 
having a really good hair day. Ooh, oh, oh, look at, woo, woo. my hair is sculptural. I'm not really doing it justice of how bad it truly was. This is one of those things that was on my desktop computer and I know it's backed up somewhere because I just saw it a couple weeks ago. I just don't know where that is right now because, you know, Christmas, holidays, everything gets moved around and cleaned up. I will try and find it. Anyway, now that I have shared some horribly embarrassing things with you guys, where can I go from here? I don't know. Would you like me to read you poetry? My poetry was really emotional and like blood and misty mountains and rain and tears. You'd like that. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty. Oh, and fan fiction. Fan fiction is definitely by far the worst. If I'm ever guilty of Mary Sueishness, it's probably a hundred percent gonna be in fan fiction because I feel like that's where you just gotta let all your writing wishes, all your guilty pleasures, just I dump all of them into fan fiction and just reroute it. It wants to come out in original work and I'm like, nope, nope, reroute over there fan fiction. I do, consequently, have a document that's just a bunch of like fluffy or lemony one-shots because you know what? Sometimes you get a craving. Like when all of a sudden it's the middle of winter and there's snow outside and you're like, I want a goddamn glass of lemonade. It's exactly like that. And you just gotta go get the glass of lemonade. You just gotta write it and like hide it. Write it and hide it. Write it and hide it. Anyway, I need to end this video before I say something I can't take back. I will talk to all of you soon. Let me know if you want to know more super embarrassing things I've written because there is a lot of stuff. Am I thumbs upping? Am I dancing? I don't know. I need to leave.